What's up guys, welcome back to another 5M tutorial. In this video, we're gonna be talking about how to set up your 5M server in 2024. Okay, so first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna create a folder on your desktop or wherever you want, and just name it whatever your server is. And then you're gonna to go to this website here. It'll be in the description. It's just the 5M artifacts. Just download the latest recommended. I already have it downloaded. Open it up and then open your server folder up and create a new folder called server. And then drag everything in here into that folder. This will make everything work for you. This will what actually makes the server run, like all the all the back end and everything. And then you're gonna want to run this file here. It's gonna open in the terminal. I'm gonna close it though. And it will open up Google. Here you go. Just link your account and everything. This is you have to do all this, just link it all. Then create your password. I usually keep a text file in mine just just has the password not on my VPS but on my um, on the uh, copy of the server on my computer because I have a copy on my computer and then I have a copy on github and then I have a copy that's on the VPS so I have a text file with all the passwords on my computer so if the server gets dumped or anything like that then they won't see that stuff because I think they can I don't know I've never dumped the server before but this is where you just make your server name, so server. And then next thing you're gonna do is they finally added QB Core to the template. So if you're gonna do QB Core, press this one. If you're gonna do V Menu, press this one. I recommend if you're running a QB Core server to have a test server for both. It's just nice to have one for both, but we're not doing this. Doing that, and then here are the red M ones, but we don't need those ones. And then we're just, gonna, we're just gonna do default and it automatically does the location for you. So it doesn't really matter. You don't really need to do that. And then you're gonna go to recipe deployer. It's gonna do all this and it's gonna set up the server for you. This is where you can get your key. So I'm not gonna really explain how to do this. Literally all you need to do is go to this website here. And all you have to do is click new server and sign in. I'm already signed in, but and then you put all your information here. So you just put the display name, doesn't really matter what it is, put your IP if it's home hosted, and then or put the VPS IP and then press these ones and all that and you'll get the key. So it's pretty straightforward. So but we'll I'm gonna make one real quick so I have it. So there we go. I have my key, we're gonna run the recipe and it's gonna actually download the server and then all the extra all the information's here, which you don't really need to edit this right now, but it automatically makes you an admin, so that's good. And um, I mean, it's just all the information's here, so just click save and run server. There we go. See, it says start a resource chat. I had to close the terminal and reopen it with this .bat file. Sometimes the first start kind of takes a while because it just has to download yarn. Yarn is a really big resource for some reason with the chat. I don't really know why, but sometimes that happens. But I think the server started. I can't tell. But sometimes, like I said, it does take a little bit. So just while you're waiting, just open 5M and let 5M open up. So you can tell that your server's up because it says connect to and then your your hardware ID will be right here, but I have streamer mode on, so it's not there. And I have to restart my I have to restart because it's not peer mode and this is what gets annoying about it. So just copy whatever your what whatever server. If you play on a role play server mainly, just copy what settings they have. You can literally find out all the information about the server by looking at the server page. So just I'll click allow for all this stuff. It doesn't really matter. But yeah, it seems like the server did start, so we'll open it up in here and you will see. I'll be able to load in and play the game. All right, here's the loading screen. It's not as fun as it used to be. You used to be able to play GTA 1 on the loading screen, but they got rid of that, which kind of sucks. But I just get to stare at this ugly loading screen. So now we're in. You see the famous bridge. And there you go. You have your 5M server. There's nothing in it. No V menu, no nothing. But yeah, here's your 5M server. I hope this helped you guys out. If you guys have any other ideas or any other topics you guys want me to cover, in my other videos, scripting, any of that stuff, just let me know in the comments and I'll be sure to do them out. Thanks for watching. Peace out.